The Earth Science Division here at Pacific Northwest National Laboratory. We are tasked with performing research in the taxpayer's interest as it pertains to the subsurface and the atmosphere. Our job is to take on research problems and help make the world a safer and more secure place. And so that could be anything from helping to work on remediation from old Manhattan Project sites like Hanford, or it could be things like developing new technologies to support geothermal energy. The Hanford site was established as part of the Manhattan Project. Its primary purpose before the end of the Cold War was to develop plutonium for nuclear bombs. When the Cold War ended, the primary purpose of the Hanford site was to clean up the environmental contamination that was left on the site. At Pacific Northwest National Laboratory, we're trying to, to push the envelope a little bit on how geophysics is used from being more as a characterization tool to understand what the geology is of the subsurface to use geophysics as more of a monitoring tool to see how things change over time. The software we've developed enable us to, to watch what's happening in the subsurface in real time. And usually, when we do geophysics, you go out to the field, you collect the data, and then you bring it back to the office, and it, and it may take two or three weeks before you have an actual image. What's different about what we do is that we have instrumentation that's continuously recording, and then that instrumentation sends the data back to a supercomputer at PNNL where it's processed and turned into a time-lapse image and posted to a website so people can actually watch what's happening in real time. EGS CoLab stands for Enhanced Geothermal Systems Collaboration. It is a DOE initiative that is led by Lawrence Berkeley National Labs, and we're a partner in it. The project itself exists in, largely inside the Sanford Underground Research Facility, which is the old Homestake mine in Leeds, South Dakota. Those projects started to investigate how to do long-term circulation through those fractures to develop these stable flow paths that EGS systems will require. So once we develop those stable flow paths, then we can begin to understand what the technical challenges will be when we do long-term operations inside geothermal settings. Models are really the linkages between the laboratory and the intermediate scale to the field scale and will be an incredible resource in our ability to predict and understand geothermal resources at an industrial scale. And that's a good example of how the laboratories do fundamental R&D in support of developing industry understanding for development of energy resources. More than half of the U.S. populations live in coastal regions. And with this climate change, rapidly increasing population, infrastructure, aging, and some other stressors, so coastal communities are actually exposed to a greater risk of vulnerability under those hazards, which can include floods, droughts, landslides, and also the failure of the infrastructure. Here at PNNL, we have this coastal project with a focus on the mid-Atlantic region and the goal of the project is to look at how the flood hazards will be changing in the future climate as well as some other influences from human systems. So to do that, we develop a high-resolution modeling framework which really represents the processes from the climate to land to river through the coastal environment. So by building those models, we hope to have a better predictability of the flood hazards for the coastal regions and also provide information for the decision makers about how they can possibly manage or adapt to the changing climate. So PNNL built the Rapid Analytics for Disaster Response software suite for the purpose of assessing hazards and damage caused by natural or man-made disasters. Some of the applications of the radar system are to understand where floodwaters may have flooded substations, or where wind events may have taken down transmission lines, or where wildfire has overtaken other critical infrastructure. So everything that we've, we've built in the radar system is in response to uh, community requests as we see them in, in these various events. The analytics that come out of the radar system are about assessing the damage and being able to improve uh, restoration of critical infrastructure, which ultimately for communities, this enables a higher resilience to these extreme events that we're seeing more frequently and a higher magnitude. 
The research problems that this division takes on at PNNL really require a multidisciplinary approach. They're not the kind of thing, right, that industry can take on or the problems are too big for our academic partners. It's an exciting time to be a geophysicist. We are past the point of campaign style data and we can take monitoring data and we can understand physical processes like we've never been able to. And we have the tools to create these remote and automated systems that will do injections and extractions and monitoring. So the future is very cool.